Officials with the U.S. Defense Department were at Lafayette today for a look into the future of autonomous vehicles. Those are vehicles capable of operating across any type of terrain without a human at the wheel. By the year 2015, the Pentagon wants one-third of its military vehicles to be autonomous. And as you'll see in this report, UL Lafayette is at the forefront of that effort. If you're looking for a driver behind the wheel, you're wasting your time. Thanks to the latest in computer technology and mechanical engineering, the Cajun bot is capable of getting from point A to point B without a human at the wheel, or anywhere else on board for that matter. This really shows that we've got the best and brightest minds right here at the university that can compete with people like Stanford and MIT on uh, these advanced technology projects. Two years ago, UL Lafayette was among a handful of American universities chosen to take part in a unique desert competition hosted by the Department of Defense. At stake, a $1 million prize for the autonomous vehicle that could successfully negotiate a test course across the desert in the shortest period of time. Now, three years into the project, the competition is continuing, and UL Lafayette is still in the front echelon. This project put us with many elite universities that they have much more resources than us, but I guess we have the people. People what make difference. Today's run was basically a qualifying heat. The real competition is scheduled for this November, and this time, instead of the desert, the vehicles will be required to run an obstacle course that simulates an urban environment. The test vehicle that got it all started three years ago was officially decommissioned today. Cajun Bot 1 was a six-wheeled amphibious vehicle that has since been replaced by the specially equipped Jeep Wrangler you just saw. Cajun Bot 2 has better suspension and significantly greater speed than its predecessor, but officials at UL Lafayette say they will never forget that it was Cajun Bot 1 that got it all started. A Lafayette man is throwing his name into the house.